Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are cash stuffing $605 into our bills, our variable binder, which we are putting together a new binder in this video, and our emergency slash 2022-2023. If craziness happens, we will be ready. If you enjoy cash stuffings, please stick around and consider subscribing to this channel. We do cash stuffings twice a week. We talk about budgeting, we talk about saving money and making money. I am a full-time Etsy shop owner and YouTuber and I am a single mom so if any of that is relatable please go ahead and subscribe channel we would love to have you as a part of our little budget fam here okay so before we cash stuff let's do what we always do go ahead and count the cash make sure we have the money that we think we have 50 150 250 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600, 601, 2, 3, 4, 5, 605 dollars. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Monday? I am doing very well. I had a good weekend with the boys. We got some crawfish. If you were not Southern, I am sorry for the information that is about to betake you. <laughs> But my boys do love crawfish. I like crawfish too, but it's typically something I do with my family. I'm not making crawfish. It's just something I'm not into. But my younger son loves playing with the crawfish before they're cooked. Because if you don't know, you buy crawfish in a huge sack. That's how we normally get them. And you boil them all up and you have to buy them live for them to be, I guess, safe. I don't know. And he likes to take a few and play with them before we start cooking them. Well, I just recently found out that you can buy them by the pound from a, st a store near me. And I am from Mississippi, by the way. Sorry again, if any of this, I don't know what is normal for, you know, other people. This is very normal in our lives. But anyway, we bought one pound of crawfish. We've always bought them from a place where you have to buy a huge like 30 pound sack of them. Well, I recently found out that a store right next door to us sells them for like by the pound even if you're buying them alive so we bought one pound of crawfish live just for my son to play with and then we bought a couple pounds of them already cooked oh my god it like easily the best six dollars I've spent <laughs> in a long time he played with those crawfish for the entire day and then at the end of the night we went and let them we went and let the ones that were still alive go at a little creek i don't know what even to call that but i think they're fine <laughs> Anyways, that was our fun for the weekend. I hope you did something a little more normal maybe, but also equally fun. Whenever you have like five, six, seven year old range, which is what my kids' ranges are, like the, it's the little things. It's the little things that really make their day and make them have a great time. So that was really fun. I'm glad we got to spend the day outside and my youngest was completely in his element with little like critters and things. That was my weekend and my Monday is off to a great start. The boys are in summer camp right now. So, I have a few minutes to chat with you guys and to get this cash stuffing done. We are going to start like we normally do with our bills, but then we're going to switch over our variable spending into our new variable binder that is listed on the shop. So stay with me for just a minute and then we'll talk about the new variable binder that's in my Etsy store. For teacher, we're gonna go ahead and put 125. This is saving for the tutor that I'm gonna have come and help me with the boys schooling this year. I need to add $125 every single week to make sure I'll be able to cover her fees once she actually starts. I'm saving for this, but this is going to end up being a little cushion that we have by the end of this month. I'm not actually needing it yet for this month, but I like to do this. If you have a new bill that you know is coming into your budget, go ahead and put it in your budget so you can start working towards getting that expense covered and know by the time it rolls around that you can actually cover it. So teacher, we now have 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, $250 for teacher. We are gonna put $40 into electric. This of course is our bills binder. So all of our bills that roll around every single month, we go ahead and stuff them throughout the month previous. So all of this is saving for July bills. Electric now has 50, 70, $90 towards our July electric bill. If you are new around here too, I just want to mention quickly that everything you see here is in my Etsy shop. If you see it on my videos, it is likely that I'm selling it. So if any of this interests you, you can search for Jordan Budgets over on Etsy and there are links in the description of this video. So water, we're going to add $20 to water to start covering our water bill, 20, 40, $50 towards water. 
internet let's put $15 into internet they tried to double bill me this month guys watch your bills because watch your accounts watch what is happening because they tried to bill me twice for last month and then bill me again for this month I guess it's only $85 and they tried to bill me $240 I have no idea how they came up with that but I called them it was a very long chat took way too much time from me but we got it figured out and they ended up fixing all of it so we are back down to the $85 that it should be. But anyway, internet now has 20, 30, $35. I hope I added the 15. Sometimes I start chatting and you just don't know what's going to happen. Okay, gym and pool. This is primarily for a pool for my boys. Let's go ahead and add $10. We now have 10, 20, $25 towards gym and pool. Gas. Gas is a new bill for me for the house. Not like car, I car, I'm used to paying a lot of gas money towards my car, but that is a conversation for another binder. Gas for the house, we're gonna go ahead and add $10, so we now have 20, and it is a new bill for me, so I'm not sure how much it's going to be this month. Renter's insurance, let's go ahead and add $5. Now for renter's insurance, we have $10. Last category we are gonna go ahead and stuff is pets. We might need to start putting more money into pets soon. I like to put money here to slowly save for a vet bill that might happen, but I'm trying to take more control of my budget. Not that my budget isn't under control, but there are certain things like I will order from Chewy to get some of their stuff very randomly. I want to say it's every month and a half or so. And because it's not an every month thing, I haven't really been putting it into my budget, but I would like to put it into my budget and really get their expenses under control and know how much I'm spending at you know, if it's not every single month, then what is the average? Also, I'm going to start paying somebody to come and help me with like clipping their nails and doing certain things for them. So the guinea pig care is about to get a little bit more expensive. We have 20, $40 towards the guinea pigs, but I am just needing more help because I'm spread so thin in all of the things. I think getting somebody to help me with the guinea pigs is going to be worth the cost. So saying all that to say, I'm about to start putting a lot more money into the pets category as soon as I get it completely narrowed down. I think very soon, is it tomorrow or Wednesday, we're gonna go through my budget and make sure I'm still on track, make sure my spending is what I think it is. I think it's nice to just take pen to paper every once in a while and make sure your budget and everything is how you're treating it. You know, just, just like I do a money reshuffle sometimes, sometimes it's nice to play things out in your mind and make sure you're actually budgeting for what you are needing, right? Okay, to show you guys what I was using for variable spending, versus what we're about to be doing. I did have groceries, gas, and fast food as my variable spending categories. This is the wallet I carry with me all over the place. I also had self-care, Etsy, and haircuts, though I really feel like this money was just sitting there and not getting spent. So these three categories, I really feel like don't need to be in my everyday binder, haircuts, Etsy, and sick days. These are gonna move over to our sinking funds and savings challenge binders. Those are binders that we stuff on Friday if you're interested in sticking around for those. So haircuts, sick days, and Etsy, that is all coming out of our variable spending binders. So let's set this to the side. That leaves us with groceries, gas, fast food, and self-care. Let's keep this self-care out because we are gonna put that self-care money into a category over here. And let me share the new binders. So in an effort just to lower prices and get binders out to anybody who might need them, because I know the binders that I sell that are customizable are great if you are needing customized categories. But if you're interested in getting a binder from me and you don't need customized categories, then this new listing might be perfect for you. I think I have it listed at $20.99, but for $20, you can get six envelopes. You will get a clear binder and then you will get six predetermined categories that are variable expenses. You will get six of these trackers that I'm about to show you and then you get two blank labels just in case you need a customized category somewhere in your variable spending. I will list that out below if you didn't follow it. I'll also have the listing to the binders down below but you're going to want to look for the variable spending binders under the money binders category over on Etsy. Did all of that make sense? I hope so. So six envelopes, one clear binder, six of these spending trackers, design of your choice, and then eight labels total if you're including those two blank labels that you're going to get in the listing. So the categories you will get with the variable binder is groceries, gas, dine out, personal, entertainment, and then miscellaneous. And then like I said, you get the two clear binders, two blank labels. 
I am going with the hearts design for my new variable spending binder, but you guys can pick from any of the categories that I have over on the shop. Let's, I guess we'll put these down as we chat about them. Groceries, we would normally put 100 to 140. I spent $120 this weekend, which is kind of my normal, but we are gonna go ahead and add 40 more dollars to groceries because I am finding that my sons are being so picky when it comes to meat, so it's really hard to get them to eat like dinner or some a meat that's not like a ham or a really processed meat and I'm really trying to get them not necessarily away from that but like they already do sort of like their processed meats and things for lunches so I would like to start putting a little bit more money aside for meats because they really do love seafood like nice seafood like salmon and shrimp and crawfish so I think I'm going to take this money so I did a grocery haul for Walmart this weekend but I have $40 left to take to a specialty store near me that sells some really nice seafood food and I'm going to take this $40 this week. It kind of gives me an incentive too to spend a little bit less on my Walmart haul because the more I can save on that haul I can put towards shopping at the little specialty store that is a bit more expensive. Definitely a luxury but again I think that my kids will really benefit from some of those seafood options because I know they love all seafood options pretty much. Gas we're going to put $50. Here's the thing with gas we normally don't put that much money in but I'm finding that I spend about $50 filling up right now a few times a month so not every single week but I think just to instead of stopping and spending 30 and $40 here I think I'm just going to try to stop every 10 days and put in this 50 so we may not even spend this 50 this week but once we put it in we need we know we need to put another $50 in right so $50 for gas I think this was fast food before, but I made dine out just because I feel like that's something we can all interchangeably use for fast food or eating out, whichever one, it's kind of a catch-all category. So dining out, we're just gonna add $6. I'm trying to get away from fast food right now, especially because my kids are in summer camp. So they are eating their lunch that I prepare for them at summer camp, and they're eating breakfast at home before summer camp. So it's our schedule is a little bit more, what would I say, our schedule is a little bit more fleshed out right now than normal, because normally I'm homeschooling them and we are all over the place. So it's a little bit easier for me right now to spend to not spend a lot on dining out so I'm enjoying that and I'm just gonna put six dollars in there and we will roll over if we need to but we're gonna see how that goes I'm really trying this summer to eat out a lot less and save that money for entertainment and just other things that we can really enjoy together personal so instead of self-care we're just switching this to a catch-all of personal category I am going to take some of this money. Oh, I have this sitting here too. So while we're talking about personal and self-care, you guys know I've been talking about wanting to get my nails done, my hair done, wanting to get more clothes. Well, I did find these at a good price online. Now I am not sponsoring or encouraging this brand yet, guys. I haven't tried it. I just found it as a good at a good price. I've never done anything like this. I'm thinking this is a lot like press on nails, but it's just much thinner. It's like a sheet you put on. I know they're really popular, so some of you, if you know anything about this, please comment below if you have any idea what these are, if you use them, if you recommend recommend a certain brand. I'm gonna try these out these this week because the price of getting my nails done is very gonna be very high. I'm thinking this might be easier and maybe last a little bit longer than painting my nails constantly. So I did wanna show you guys, I picked these up for $20 total and had them shipped to me. So I did take $20 out of self-care already. Then we are going to take another little bit out. Let's take a 50 out. We're gonna put a 50 towards entertainment and we'll put 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 dollars towards personal. This is going to be shopping for myself, anything I might want. This is not a category I had. I mean, I had self-care, but I was really guarding self-care. Like it had to be some kind of haircut or nails or something like that. I'm going to switch this. So like if there's something I see while I'm out shopping and I want it, if I want a coffee, personal just makes me feel like a little bit more freedom to spend it how I want to spend it and stop just trying to save it. I am such a saver, which is great unless you want to spend something 
something on yourself, right? So this personal category I think is going to be a huge improvement and actually encourage me to use that money. Entertainment, we are gonna add $50 in addition to the $50 we just added from our self-care money. That is because I really wanna spend money on experiences with my kids this summer. They are in summer camp, so a lot of their time is already full, but if I see something fun to do with them, or maybe even just dining out with them, I'm counting that as entertainment for us. Go to the movies, anything like that. I'm putting $100 here because again, I am the type of person and everybody is so different with their budgets but I'm the type of person who will skip out on things just to save the money and I'm really at a point right now where my kids are only five and seven for a couple more months like I really want to take them to do different things I want to be encouraged to spend this money so I'm putting it in entertainment and I really hope this summer that I will make that a priority and put money there of course as we have those entertainment adventures and as I pull money from this I think it's really fun to share with you guys so I will continue to share that of course so miscellaneous this is for anything I might see for the house any random little need if there's a category here where I feel like we just need a little bit more it is sitting in our miscellaneous and we're gonna go ahead and put $20 there so this is our new variable binder. Again, if you are interested in this, I'm able to make this a little bit cheaper than some of my other binders just because these categories are pre-set. The other binder sets that I sell are custom labels, which takes me more time because I have to change those files around. And of course, I'm happy to create those customized categories and things, but I'm just able to sell these a little bit cheaper. So. So that's live in the shop and I'm excited to use my new binder. There's two blank labels. If I wanted to add some categories, I could do that in the future, but I'm not doing that now. Okay, last binder for today is our emergency binder. Roll the dice. Okay, my kids stole my dice, but some of you mentioned that there's apps on the phone. So let's try this with our phone. Oh, if, if your phone is on. Roll a dice. It's two this time. Thank you. One, two. So we're going to put $2 in, roll the dice. This is saving for some kind of a solar panel battery pack. That's like my wish list save. I don't know. We could be saving for bottled water because it's almost hurricane season. Oh, okay. It's already hurricane season. How did I not know this? Okay. So uh, maybe I should be keeping an eye on the weather. We added $2 to roll the dice. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 to roll the dice or probably hurricane related needs. That is just a small fun way to do a little bit of savings. All right, 20, $40 to one month ahead. We now have $100 in the bank. 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 80, 90. $290 towards one month ahead. Once we color in all of these little bill spots, we will have $2,000 set aside for bills. Pantry stockpile, let's go ahead and add, let's add $27, 25, 26, $27 to pantry. Pantry stockpile now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. $132 towards pantry stockpile. Next is emergency prep. We're gonna skip this one for now and we are going to put some big numbers into some of these categories. One of them being medical. You guys know I'm saving and trying to figure out what to do for my sons for medical. If you live in a state where there is a state program and then if you don't qualify for low income, say Medicaid state income, there is a kids program like Kids First or Kids Choice or I don't know, I've seen some different names for them. If you have a program like that in your state and you are allowed to just buy into it even if you make too much money. So like I recently saw Florida has, it might be called Kids First and it's like $250 per kid if you make too much to get a reduced or just free medical insurance. Mississippi does not have anything like that. So private insurances are allowed to deny my children because they have pre-existing conditions. I could go through Marketplace to get it because Marketplace is not allowed to deny, but it's like $500 or $600 for a program that really doesn't pay for anything. Whereas places like Florida, I've seen have Kids First or Kids Choice or something, and it's like $250 per kid, and it's very affordable. Like the co-pays and things are very affordable. It's 
a good option. I don't know if you have anything like that, please tell me in the comments below. I am seriously searching and looking for somewhere to move that will allow me to afford my children's medical care, even though they have pre-existing conditions. That is a whole video and a whole aggravation in my life that I'm genuinely just trying to figure out how to make it happen. But I, I have been calling around in Mississippi and I've been told that if they're not straight, disabled or blind, then they don't qualify for any kind of a discount or any kind of anything, which it's, I don't know, it's very stressful. Anyway, we're gonna add $50 to medical. I know it's not making a huge dent in the scheme of things, but I don't know. It makes me feel better just to put something here, right? So 50, 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. We now have $200 for medical, which is like a thorn in my side right now. So we'll just throw a little bit of money that way. I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings about medical. We're going to skip gas for now. And we are going to put $50 into emergency savings. Normally we put 25, but let's go ahead and put a 50 so we can color in two spots. Okay, emergency savings, and then we just have one more category, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 155, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 100, and 75 dollars towards emergency savings. The last category is, oh, okay, so I didn't realize we still had a five. I had extra money in here just to account for roll the dice in case we landed a six. So let's go ahead and go back really quick and put $5 towards emergency prep. You all know I like to put a little bit of money in every category if I can. So let's go ahead and just color in this little spot. This is also just saving for hurricane prep. Maybe I need new flashlights and batteries and or if I'm able to save this category, it could be for a battery pack solar panel set. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 dollars in emergency prep. And going back to that last category is meat restock. This is something I should probably really beef up because as it pertains to my kids wanting seafood and them eating seafood really well, seafood can be pretty expensive. So maybe with this meat restock, once we get a little bit in here, I can go and get a big haul of seafood all at one time. I'm sure that would be cheaper. So we're gonna add 20 and we already had $6. So we have $26 now for meat restock. So that is it for this cash stuffing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love all the videos we do, but Monday and Friday when we get to cash stuff and chat together, that is always fun. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. That is it for this cash stuffing. As always, thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.